Hey there guys, how's it going? Hi, Rilla here once again, bringing you some more Secret Angel Titty Simulator 5000. So, we're left here with a choice. We can either eat the food, eat this worthless heaping pile of shit that both Sayaka and Hikari have made for us, or we can refuse to eat it. Um, I think we should eat the food. I have no choice, do I? I don't want to make her feel bad after she works so hard to create whatever the fuck this is. Here I go then. I give this. I give the substance a poke. It crumbles into a fine powder at the slightest touch. Holy shit! Okay. I'm sure even though it looks absolutely terrifying, it can't be that bad, right? Maybe there's something good underneath all these layers of... burnt stuff. I scoop as, as much as I can that doesn't crumble away from my hold and force it into my mouth despite all my instincts screaming at me not to. It's... It's... Sahaka leans in expectantly as I swallow it down. I think this must be a charcoal taste like... I fight back the urge to choke and give her a smile and a nod. <laughs> Alright, this auto thing, like, doesn't work at all. It's fucking garbage. Oh god. What have I done? And I still have an entire plate of this stuff left. These girls are coming up with a real danger to my health and well-being right now. I'm gonna take the shit out of my fucking ears, it's like destroying my eardrums. So, with breakfast out of the way, it seems like Sayaka is finally ready to tell me what she has planned for the day. I can tell she's had trouble keeping it to herself this entire time, and she looks like she might burst at any moment, practically shaking with excitement. I don't even think Hikari truly knows what Sayaka has in mind, as she seems, uh, uneasy. She suddenly thrusts a finger at me, catching me off guard as I jump a little. Uh, yeah? No. But I, did, I didn't agree to anything. Hikari is as distraught as I am about the whole thing. Zaka seems like she's made up her mind, though. It's settled. Whether we like it or not... Oh my god. Me personally, living here in Florida, I fucking hate... HATE the beach. I hate the fucking beach. I don't know if it's because, you know, anybody there has tan skin, white teeth, and I have, uh, white skin, tan teeth, or <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And, I mean, I, I don't have the perfect fucking chiseled 8, 10, 12, 54, 100,000 million ab pack going on down there, if you catch my drift. Hikari falls into troubled thoughts, her brow furrowing. I'm sure she has her own personal reasons to hate this, as I have my own. I knew she was about this for my benefit, since I don't get out that much. But at the moment, I think the only person benefiting from this is Sayaka herself. Clearly she just wants to do all the stuff she hasn't been able to do before. And drag me along is a perfect excuse. She's so fired up about the whole thing right now, I don't think I can say no. Heck, even if I said no, I get the feeling she'd just drag me down there anyway. Okay. Okay. But I'm blaming you guys 
if I ignite into flames the moment we step foot onto the beach. I just don't have the skin for it. Saka takes a moment to think before she gives a teasing grin. Hikari drives the wind out of her partner with a flashing streak to the stomach. I don't even get what it is they're arguing about. Maybe it's for the best? <clears throat> Saki keeps up her grin despite the fact she's doubled over and clutching at her core. That really did look painful. Hikari pulls her arms together and lets out a huff, turning her head to the side. She's really against this thing, huh? <laughs> Sayaka gives a hoarse cheer, still struggling to catch her breath. With everyone coming to an agreement on going to the beach today, some more more reluctantly than others, we make preparations before the blindingly bright and hot world. For whatever reason, halfway into the journey to the beach, the girls sprinted ahead and told me they'd be waiting for me there. I thought they were supposed to be at my side and protect me, especially when we were outside. The beach is clearly more important than my own life, though. So, I'll let it slide this time. And they left me to carry the majority of the things, too. All the lunches and towels and whatever else Sayaka loaded up in a frenzy. I'm just able... I'm just about able to keep upright with all these bags weighing me down. Combine all that with the blazing sun and the near cloudless sky. And I'm lucky I didn't pass out on the way there. <clears throat> And we're at the fucking beach. I take the first step onto the sand. The beach at long last. The waves of the ocean lap gently at the shore. The water itself almost crystal clear as it stretches far into the horizon, merging with the blue sky. It's a beautiful sight to be sure. I just wish it wasn't so fucking hot. Surprisingly enough, the beach isn't that populated. There's a few people here and there, but... It isn't as packed as I thought it would be. Every fucking time I go to the beach, it's literally packed tighter than a fucking... Th uh, never mind. I'm not going to finish that analogy. <laughs> I suppose we are nearing the end of the season for this sort of stuff. I hope we didn't st don't stick out too much. That's a point. Just where exactly are the girls? I give the beach a scan over. Where could they be? I wander further onto the beach and the sand threatening to set fire to my feet and the more idle I the more I idle it in. <clears throat> A familiar voice catches my attention. Finally! And I think that I'm about ready to get a thumbnail for the next video. <laughs> oh my fucking god. This goddamn game, man. I turn to the source of the voice to find... Oh. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I can see why they ran ahead now. To change into their rather, um... 
Let's say, uh, flashy swimsuits? They're sharing the same beach chair, hugging together in a pose I can only guess they've been holding for a while as they waited for me to finally catch up. Saga giggles and hugs tighter against her Kari, who surprisingly also has a smile on her face. She must be enjoying this to a degree too, but her cheeks are definitely burning up. Jesus fucking Christ. She tries to shy away, but she doesn't really have anywhere to go with Sayaka still on top of her. It's quite the compromising position. Saka turns her attention to me. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh my fucking god. Ah, uh, no. Oh, jeez. Really? You're going to hit me with that? I should think carefully before I answer. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and if you enjoyed it for some fucking reason, hit that like button, leave a comment, and please subscribe if you haven't already, because every little bit helps, and it's just a click away, and until the next video, please stay tuned, and peace out, you guys.